let me set the scene. You just dropped out, bills are stacked, it isn't looking great. So you decide to go to Las Venas, and that's where your blooming business casino adventure begins. This video will show you how to build your business, choose the right staff, manage your empire, and make the most of this opportunity. And that is just when an interesting looking fella gives you the opportunity of a lifetime. And what do you do? You grab that offer, of course, and run with it. Mobster Anthony is the head of the infamous Bar family, sees your potential and offers you one of his casinos to revamp and build up. And as they say, the higher the risk, the higher the rewards. So make sure you have Anthony on your side. With that said, let's get started. The ground floor, where all the fun happens. First of all, the entrance will need a lot of cosmetic work. After all, first impressions matter in show business. I see potential. Walls and floors do need a bit of work, but there's plenty of open space to work with. I can also see a lot of trash and some non-working toilets. But I know how to easily fix that. Ooh, I think I see a staircase over there as well. Ah, yes. The heart of the operation is here. And it looks like the previous owner has left some furniture in the basement. Every little helps, right? When you do start opening your own casinos, you will need to create your own basement layout and source your own furniture. The locker room is a great place to start. In the locker room, you can hire custodians, janitors and security to help you set up your new business and generally maintain the floor upkeep as well as plumbing and security of your soon-to-be fine establishment. Now, since we are in the locker room, let's hire a custodian to help with the mess upstairs on the ground floor. To hire an employee, click on the area they work, and you will be able to view and hire applicants with different skill levels and matching salaries. For now, one custodian will do, and we can hire more later. Just on the left, I am seeing what seems to be the break room. The coffee machine gave it away. A good manager cares for their staff. You can choose to give your staff a break if you notice some are running low on energy, or they can go there to chill on their own as well, once they reach their break threshold. And just a little to the right, there is the security room. It is the operation center for your security personnel. Once you hire a pit boss, they will be working from this room and you will need the security. After all, this is Las Venus, and you never know what can happen and what can go down. Right next to that, I'm seeing generators, so that must be the generator room. In this room, you can monitor the casino electricity consumption and costs. Pro tip, be careful of your watts consumption when installing new lights and electric arcade machines. If your consumption is a little too high, your casino will lose electricity and go in the dark. Next we have the vault room, which is where the clerks take the cash your clients exchange for chips. Needless to say, you need to hire a trustworthy clerk. In here, you can look at the different experiences and traits your applicants have before hiring them. Lastly, the stock room. This is where your bar staff can come to restock the bar for your fun thirsty clients. You can also monitor stock spend and choose how many units per stock, which will of course change your outgoings and help you manage profits. And with the basement tour done, let's go back upstairs and get to business. The friendly custodian we just hired should have made some progress on the mess upstairs. Looks like they are almost done. As a manager, you can step in and give a helping hand. Now let's leave the rest for the custodian and let us, girlfriend, start glamming up this space. It's only right, we are in Las Venus after all. From the side menus, on the bottom of the screen, you can create new areas, add decoration and furniture. There are a lot of options and you can unlock many more as you play. All, of course, to accommodate the different types of clientele visiting your casinos. First, this musty wallpaper must go. Um, let us go with something a little more glamorous and flashy. I 
I think this red works a treat. Many items are also customizable, for example, a lot of the rugs and the walls can change colors as well as some of the furniture. But I think I'll go with the same red for all the walls in the main area. Then for the entrance, I will go for a more of a royal bluish with a gold accent for contrast. All the walls are now done, except for the exposed brick wall. I kind of like it like that, it gives a nice feel to it. The casino is starting to shape up! Now, before adding any more furniture, we should add a cashier cage and figure out where this should go. Might go with two, actually. Now these two are here, we can work on adding some more decor to increase the area's beauty score. Let's start by adding some art here, and perhaps some greenery would help too. A statement piece maybe? On second thoughts, probably too big. Let me stick with just some side plant pots, they always add a nice touch. It's also good to note that all items can be moved or sold once placed in the casino, including walls that you may build. And now a few more pieces to bring it all together. And lastly, tiles for a bit more of a luxury feel. And of course I'll be keeping some of that red carpet as well. Now let me quickly do some hiring, I'm after two cashiers, ideally I want them friendly and, you know, good at maths. I'll leave the entrance for now, I might come back to it later and see if it fits with the overall theme. The word must be out because the clients are starting to line up. Now let's go to the main floor and get the dice rolling. You can design the main floor or floors freely and place different areas to create your floor plan. You can also change the size of the area after deciding a general location for it. There are different types of areas depending on the functionality. I'll be starting with a dice game area, a casino classic, for the craps tables. I'm gonna make sure my area is big enough to fit two of these just over here. I also like having the dealers with their back to the wall. In my head, it minimizes cheating opportunities. Not sure if it's legit. Whilst the area is still unstaffed, I'll take some time to put in some lights and extra decor items. And now to recruit some dealers, ideally I'm looking for light-handed or light-footed. And I think I see a magician as well, that sounds handy. And adding some more of the fancy floor in this area just before I move. Trying to get it all to look a bit more put together. Further to the right, let's do another casino's table, the roulette area. I'll be leaving some space between the two areas, which is smart because then you leave more room for seating area options. Decor items will improve your beauty score, which is important because the prettier a place is, the longer people will stay. And adding a couple of roulette tables. Placing these just over here. And carrying on with hiring a couple of dealers to manage those tables. 
I'm still figuring out what I want to do to the floor here. But for now, I'll leave it as it is. And if you noticed, I have also left some space near the walls for some sofas and a small green garden. Now for the last game area I'll be showing is the arcade area. This area can accommodate two main types of games, electric games like pinball, slots and solitaire, as well as more manual games such as dartboards. I'll start by placing some dartboards near the brick wall and sectioning the area off. You can stack more throwing dots, stands and place them all against the wall, but I'm happy with how this looks. I'll now be creating another area just off to the side for the electric games. I'll be mainly placing slots machines in this area. After placing however many machines I would like, I'll be rotating them back to back to allow easy movement for clients around the casino. Our entrance is now ready and the basic games are all set up. The last bit of prep left before we open our casino would be the services, including our bar. But as we are low-key broke, I'll open the casino right now just to get some cash flowing, especially with the tourists being in town. Now that we have enough money to open a bar, let us find the perfect spot for that. I think here is a great place and it's sort of quite close to the bathrooms, just in case. And now hiring a bartender, and voila, the bar is open. The area seems to be quite empty though, so let's add some stuff. And some lights to set the mood, seating area as well. I can already see that the bar is getting quite popular. I'm trying to create mini small areas so groups of people can sit together and enjoy a little chit chats. And it seems our friend Tony is happy with our progress so far. This normally would mark the end of the tutorial and the beginning of the main mission, where you can start building multi-story casinos and start meeting Las Venus VIPs and observe their impact on business. But I think I will stay here a little longer to finish my bar area and I think I just spotted that some of the tiki theme items have just unlocked for me. Throughout the game there are multiple themes that you unlock as you progress and each cater to a different type of clients. And now back to the bar, I can see a lot of our guests are leaving bottles and cups on the floor and our custodian alone isn't able to keep up. So heading back down to the underground floor to hire another custodian to help with this mess that's happening around the bar. Another thing that will help is placing trash cans around the casino. If guests can't see them, they will start leaving trash everywhere and your casino can easily start looking like this before you know it. I also noticed that my cashiers are taking very frequent breaks, so I'm increasing their break thresholds. Guests aren't finding staff to check them into the casino. And it looks like foot traffic is picking up a bit, so now is a good time to give some more attention to the bar. Potentially hire more bar staff, but I think I might do a quick revamp to the bar area, as it is the money bringer when it comes to tourists, and they seem to like the tiki theme. And I'll also halt client's entry whilst I'm doing the work. Later in the game, you will be able to hire a researcher team that gathers information on consumer behavior and gives you research outcomes and results that can help guide you and your choices when managing your business empire. Okay then, my bar now is all ready. And just before we move on, I want to mention that it is good to have a variety of drinks at different prices at your casino, because then you'll be able to cater for more clients. Our menu for now is gonna be ginger ale sold at $5 and a Mai Tai cocktail at $10. The casino now is fully ready, in my view. Now it is just about further improvements. For example, I have been seeing clients feeling tired, so providing more seating options and interesting decor will help with their engagement levels and energy. Additionally, I also noticed that the casino was getting too busy, so I took the action to halt client entry. 
However, now that the casino is more free, I will undo that and allow client entry from the main entrance area. Across all your casinos, you can track and follow your staff and check in on how and what your guests are doing, which will tell you more about your casino and how people are enjoying it. I am now happy with this casino that it is bringing money in in a sustainable manner. So with this, I am ready to move on my next mission and that will be for another video. So thank you all for watching today and I am ready to close my casino and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, Sue. Bloomin' Business Casino. Add to your wish list today.